I can go ahead and just uh, demonstrate or point out the different pieces of hardware on this board. Uh, the main star is right here, the Artemis module, which is that silver thing with the blue line. The blue line is the Bluetooth antenna. And then second to that, they're like kind of co-hosts in their own show over here. This guy is a NXP Cortex-M0 chip. It does the USB interface to the Artemis module, which allows you to program over serial single wire debug and JTAG protocols. You can flash the chip. You can do single step debugging with uh, open source software like PyOCD. Um, and also this allows you to run the embed test suite to verify the embed uh, OS support. Then we also have some sensors built in here for machine learning. Right here, you've got an accelerometer, the small black uh, square there. And then you've also got the microphone, which is a digital microphone right above it. And then lastly, we have this camera here, which takes images facing out this way. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see there. Um, tiny little camera with very advanced features. It's a brand new part from HiMax Imaging. And it allows us to do uh, things like person detection or object detection using TensorFlow. And then, of course, be, this being a development kit, it's meant to make it really easy to use uh, and to develop your own software. So we broke out a lot of pins over on this side with lots of ground rows and places for uh, test points to hook on. So actually those plated through hole connections that you can see shining, those are all uh, identical to the pins that they're next to. And they provide a nice little spot for test probes to pinch on. And then up in this corner, a nice little convenient reset button. You can see there's the reset. Yeah, and on the back, a nice little pin map. This just makes it easy to see some of the commonly used peripherals uh, where they're broken out, what pins they're available on. So that's the hardware system of the Artemis dev kit. That's what we want to use for people to easily develop their products, their physical connections and things like that. Then as far as the software stack goes, actually, I think Alessandro alluded to the fact that there are three main IDEs that we can actually use. There's, and they all stack from one to another, uh, so sequentially building additional features and capabilities. So you start on one side with the, uh, Ambic Suite SDK, which is provided by Ambic Micro. They're the company that has produced the Apollo 3 and they provide a lot of convenient access to peripheral features like the SPI ports, UART ports, uh, timers, everything that you'd expect on there, including BLE. Then in the center, we've got more of the embed development studio. And this is where we add on all the standardized interfaces for I squared C, uh, things like that, that can exist in examples written by many people across the internet and also supported on lots of different targets. So not only does the embed I2C example run on the, you know, STM boards and the NXP boards and all those other targets, but now it also runs on the Artemis Apollo 3 Ambic micro boards. And then the final solution on the far side is the Arduino environment. That's what we use for the uh, beginner and most rapidly prototyping area.